At the 2014 Olympic Winter Games in Sochi, audiences were introduced to two new exciting skiing events. Canada's men and women freestyle skiers took to the halfpipe and slopestyle course with speed and style. Their debut performances resulted in three Olympic medals. Once again asserting Canada's dominance as a freestyle ski nation. Following the team's success at the Games, we're back on the slopes with them as they begin preparations for the 2018 Olympics in Pyeongchang, Korea. Meet the medalists, the up-and-comers, the innovators, and the boundary breakers. Meet the Canadians. Hey, I'm Cassie Sharp. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Comox Valley, Vancouver Island. I've been on the national team for uh, going into my third year and uh, I ski half pipe. I was born in Calgary and uh, my dad got relocated for his job and we moved to Vancouver Island where he got a job on Mount Washington and we started being put in lessons and riding up the hill every weekend and uh, just started riding with my brothers and got into it that way. Going into Detour I was extremely nervous. I came off a really awesome end to my season the year before winning the last World Cup of the year. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, I had great training all throughout the summer. Now before Evan McEachern, Cassie Sharp, and the rest of the team pack their bags and head to Colorado, they have to have a full physical and mental checkup to ensure that they are ready for the grueling season ahead. Cassie and the rest of the halfpipe team will be doing their preseason fitness testing at the Whistler Athletes Center, a nice legacy from when the Olympic Games were held in Whistler and Vancouver in 2010. All of the athletes will be put through a series of vigorous physical and mental tests 
to check on past injuries and create a baseline for the season to come. Doing this checkup preseason is paramount for the team as once the season gets underway, it's a roller coaster of travel, competition, and training. Going to do tour it was a little nerve wracking, just uh, to make sure I performed the way I wanted to. Tour in itself is an awesome contest. It's been around for a long time, so all the best kind of start their year there, and uh, to do well there kind of sets the tone for your season. The athletes head to registration for the season's first contest, the Dew Tour. The weight of what they are about to do is starting to sink in. Each athlete reacts differently to the stresses of competition. Veterans take the trials and tribulations of competitive free skiing in stride, while some of the rookies are more shaken. It's fitting that a dangerous, adrenaline-filled sport, such as free skiing, starts with one of the largest contests of the year. An event that draws some of the largest crowds, both in person and on TV, due to is a sink or swim situation, right out of the gate. With the prep time drawing to a close, the question on all of the athletes' minds is, will my hard work in the off-season pay off here? And will I be able to dust off the cobwebs in front of a crowd? You kind of start your year with one of the biggest contests of the year. There's no warm up, there's no, there's nothing leading up to it. So you kind of just go from summer training straight into the biggest, con one of the biggest contests. And uh, you just put it all on the line and try and do your best. <laughs> 